Hello, Internet. Hi there. I just wanted to make a quick video on how to turn a fully manual film camera into an auto exposure flash camera. This will allow you to go out at nighttime um, and in events or indoors or something like that when the light's a bit low and just shoot like a crazy person and just get really good shots that are well exposed and not have to worry about exposure even though you're using a fully manual camera. Um, basically what you need is a flash with an automatic exposure system like this Vivitar. Um, as you can see it's got like a little switch on the front. That switch is between the blue zone which is close the M zone which is fully manual and uses guide numbers and that's a bit technical you need to look at another video or read up on that and then the red zone which is more distant subjects. The blue circle at the front there is like a little electronic eye that detects the flash strength and it cuts it off when enough flash has been bounced back into the sensor so it's effectively an auto exposure system for flash. So on this particular flash, the blue zone goes out to 20 feet, or about uh, 6 meters, which is plenty for most situations. So very quickly, what you need to do is set the flash to whatever ISO film you're using. In this case, I'm using a 400, which is a good choice. So as you can see, the flash, the little button there, is set to 400 ASA. It then tells you the aperture that you need to shoot at, which in this case is f8. Okay, so then you go to the lens and you put in the aperture and I've already set it at f8. Okay, the next thing you need to do is just to make sure that the shutter speed is at the flash sync speed or lower. Remember flash sync speed is maximum sync speed. On this camera it's got like a slightly different color on the 60 which shows that the max flash sync speed is 60th of a second. Often they have like a little spark or like a little lightning flash or something like that or it's a different color. Or read the manual. I could also set it to a 30th as well. That would be possible because a slower shutter speed is going to allow more ambient light into the exposure and balance the flash light or the light from the flash and make a more balanced exposure and you'll get less of the deer in the headlights type shots. Okay, so once you've got the ISO set on the flash, according to the film that you're using, and you've put the aperture that the flash tells you into the aperture on the lens, and you set it at the sync speed or below, it is now time to just turn on, wait for the little light to come on to tell you that you're ready. Oh, there's the light to tell you that you can um, take a shot, focus, and boom, there you go. Very, very easy. And if you get your focusing within, it doesn't even have to be close. At F8, you've got reasonable depth of field. As long as you get close to the, the right distance, you can blast away very easily. Um, if you use a faster film, you can have a smaller aperture, and therefore you can shut the lens down to that aperture and get more depth of field and you can start to use hyperfocal distance which gives you the most depth of field you can get including infinity or you can zone focus too but anyway lots of depth of field means focusing accuracy is not a problem so there you go give it a try it works really well and this flash the Vivitar 2800 is really great thank you